Thank you so much for joining our channel today. We are so excited to show you how we decorated our house for Christmas. I love how warm it is. It's just so cozy. It's my favorite time of year. Um, but we wanted to take you guys along, show you how we do that with some new things, some old. And a lot of the videos are done at night because it's really hard to do anything with two children under two. So please forgive us. But um, I did take some footage during the day there's no sun because we're in Washington right now it's overcast but I got as best of lighting as I could I just hope you guys like everything you see and if you get a little inspired especially for those Dollar Tree Christmas trees they're so amazing and you can just make them look so expensive we look forward to hearing from you guys leave some comments let us know what you think if you got inspired if you tried the the beautiful Christmas trees out let us know we can't wait to hear from you don't forget to subscribe like and hit the bell so you could stay tuned for all of our upcoming content thank you for hanging out you guys let's get decorating So those trees are the ones that I made with supplies from the Dollar Tree. I love how they came out. They made my manger look so perfect. I did end up adding Christmas lights to the trees because uh, at night it just gets a little too dark in that corner and it just gave it the perfect look that it needed and actually made the tablecloth sparkle more like snow. So I love it. It looks so great. Every year, Joel will set up his Christmas town. It is one of our traditions. I really love it. I enjoy watching him do it and just seeing how he decides he's going to set it up. It always comes out so cute. I love our Christmas tree bag. It is so great, keeps everything standing up straight and in place. And that is from Costco as well as this Christmas tree. It's so simple to set up. You just put them together, they latch in really easily. Uh, it has a couple different colors that you can do. They can blink. I love just the typical white, but I just, this tree is so great and that bag is so amazing. The metal tree skirt is also from Costco. We just love how it makes the tree look. You can still kind of see the stand underneath it, but it still looks really pretty. You just have to fluff the tree out. So Joel went to the movies. I am home with the kids because they are not ready for the theater. And Jalen's asleep. Still got little man awake. <laughs> and we're gonna decorate the tree. Let's see how much he lets me get done. And maybe even decorate the bathroom.
give him kisses. <laughs> Be gentle with him. Be gentle. He loves you. Give him kisses. <laughs> he is a cute. This is my first time adding the mesh to the tree. I love how it turned out. It was a lot easier than it seemed. Um, I struggled with it in the beginning and then it got easier as I went along. You just tuck each little part in and it really wasn't hard at all. You can find videos on YouTube for people to show you how to do it. But I'm just loving how beautiful it made the tree look. It, it needed something and this was the winner. And I swear I will do this every year because I just love how it turned out. This is another one of those Dollar Tree Christmas trees that I had made, but this one I decided not to flock since I was going to decorate it with these little beads that I got at the at-home store, and then I also added red and white Christmas lights to it as well. So in order to make the Dollar Tree Christmas trees, those are two of their Christmas trees put together with zip ties, also from the Dollar Tree I will show here. And then the baking soda, any kind of glue, and then I ended up getting the shaving cream from another store because I forgot, and then that is sand. So here I'm just gonna mix the sand and baking soda to make a snow-like consistency to add on top of the flocking after. It just gives it a more real life appearance. And then you're gonna add some glue, some baking soda, and you just want like a really snow-like consistency. You will have to add quite a bit of shaving cream because it kind of dilutes or like, it just, it gets thinner and it kind of disappears. And then you're just gonna press it into the branches until you like how it looks. It is messy, but I mean, it's just shaving cream and stuff, so it comes right off. Um, but I like to massage it in a little, leave it a little heavier in some areas, try to give it a real life appearance. And then you're gonna, after that, um, you don't wanna get too far before you add the sand because you want it to be able to stick. You can also add some spray glue um, to it help it adhere better as well, but I love how it came out. Look at how great that looks. That's from the Dollar Tree guys <laughs> I decided to stop recording while I was decorating. It was just really hard to do it with the kids around and all the noise and the baby crying. So I had to do it when I could and sometimes it was at night and so I just recorded later in the day when I had better lighting. But I do love how everything came out. All the little touches of red just helped tie it all in. I love how I decorated this. It's a really old um, crystal cake plate that was my mother's and so were the things inside it except for the little trees are from the dollar store. But everything came together so great and I just love how you can mix new and old and the Dollar Tree has so many great things out there that you can use and make them look really nice.
I will link the Merry Christmas pillow cover and the blanket throw. Those were both found on Amazon and they just were inexpensive and gave the couch what it needed for that extra Christmas touch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just love the way the house turned out. It's so warm and inviting. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. I just love this day. And don't forget the reason for the season. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> uh, that is why I love my baby Jesus ornament with Santa praying. It's so cute. You can get this on Amazon. I just love it. I also have my big praying Santa down here but I just want to thank you guys for hanging out and I hope you enjoy and maybe get a little inspired by our video and our house decoration we'll see you again real soon